Tabular data is the kind of data that you can store in a table of rows and columns, which is why we call it tabular data. It's the kind of data that you find in a spreadsheet like this. But it can also be stored in other formats too. So here I've got a CSV file, which contains the same data in a different format, and I've got a file with a .json extension, which again, same data, just different format. But it's all tabular data. It could be stored in rows and columns. So in the JSON case, each of these represents a row, and the key value pairs represent different columns. And in the CSV case, first row represents the headings, the names of each column, and I've got comma separate values for each of those headings, and each line after the heading represents a record in my data set. There's no constraint on what the type of value for each column is in tabular data, but it should be consistent between examples. And that's a key characteristic of tabular data, is that you know what each column represents, and it represents the same thing for each example that corresponds to a row. So here, the first column of each record is always going to be the name of the person. And because of that, we refer to tabular data as a form of structured data. We know the structure, we know what to expect at each position for each record which comes into that tabular data. And you're going to see tabular data everywhere.